This is a Christmas tradition banned on flights. It's called a Christmas cracker, and hidden beneath its festive cheer is a sensitive material you might not know. <laughs> so opening this up, let's see what we've got. A small paper crown, a trivia card, and also a little joke which says, what do snowmen like most about school? Snow and tell. <laughs> and lastly we have this, and if I didn't know better, just looks like a normal piece of card. Interestingly, this small device is exactly why you can't take it on a plane. Let's take a closer look as I pull the two sides apart. So as the two pieces of card separate, we can see a violent reaction takes place. This is what creates the pop. So now you've seen how these work, you'd actually be surprised just how loud they are. Let's use our decimeter to register the sound in three, Two, one. So incredibly, we managed to register a 106.7, which is roughly the same noise as a motorbike, but only for a fraction of a second. So in order to better understand what makes that distinctive pop, I've done a little bit of research. So essentially what this says on the V&A Museum's website is that it was invented by a confectioner and baker called Tom Smith back in around 1823. Now this was used to help promote his Bon Bon chocolates to help them better stand out from competition. And specifically what makes the bang, as they say on the website, is two narrow strips of paper layered together with silver fulminate painted on one side and an abrasive surface on the other. And in fact, it's the same material you can find on those small fun snaps just coated on gravel. And I think that's very cool.